Hi everyone, it's Jen Liddy and it is uh, Monday night around 6.30. I am coming to you today later than I wanted to, but I wanted to make sure I contacted all of you. So uh, I'm answering a question from Phyllis that I think a lot of people can relate to. And Phyllis was talking about how she doesn't like to plan things because she's a creative type and she feels like planning limits her. And I want to express that most of my clients actually come to me with this exact problem. They are creative women and they got into doing whatever they're doing because they love doing that thing. Uh, what happens is the reality of life settles in and they have to take care of stupid things like emails and cleaning and scheduling and all of that crap that keeps them kind of hunkered down. It steals their time. It steals their passion. It steals them from doing the things that they love to do, the things they originally got into their business to do. Um, so Phyllis's question is a great one. How do I plan when I hate planning? How do I use my, um, hi Jessica, how do I use my time better when I'm not a planner? So I want to talk about this mindset because it's really just a mindset. Creative women love to be um, spontaneous and like, what if we do this? And what if we do this? They're, they're very much in the what if kind of space. They don't like to be pigeonholed into doing a certain thing at a certain time. They usually uh, reject any kind of uh, repetition or um, ritual and there's a better word that I can't find it right now. I'm sorry. But um, what I try to do with my private clients is train them to think about how routine, that was the word, routine actually makes their life better. Routine brings them freedom. So here's the example that I like to give. I don't know if any of you guys have seen When Harry Met Sally. There's a scene in that movie where she's talking about how much she loves one of the client, one of the people loves being single and loves not being married because if they were single, they could just like jet off to Paris at any time, or they could have sex on the kitchen floor or like they could do anything because they were untethered and unscheduled. But then the very next sentence is, but we never did go to Paris and we never did go to Spain. And the, you know, the tile floor is very cold and hard. So we never had like spontaneous sex on the tile floor. That's kind of the crux of what I'm trying. I try to teach to my private clients, which is you want more time. And actually the only way to get that time is to schedule things to do at certain times. This is a mindset shift because creative women want to be spontaneous and like do things like kind of by the seat of their pants. Yet that's never what happens because they get so bogged down with all the shit they need to take care of that they can't do anything and fly and be spontaneous because they're, even if they had a moment, they're like, oh, I have to take care of this next and I have to take care of this next. And so what I try to train my clients to understand is if you can get the mindset of if I do all this crappy thing that I don't, that I don't want to do during this time and I get it done the rest of my time is free. The other way to think about that is I schedule free time for myself and that is the first thing I schedule and everything else gets scheduled around that. So for example, if you know you wanted some free time Friday afternoons and you wanted that to be completely open, in your calendar, you book that as free time. You don't book anything else there. And if you do, you're cheating on yourself. And that's probably part of the problem too. So we've got, just gotten so used to not respecting our own time that we never feel like we have any time at all. So for those of you who are creative women, it will feel a little awkward at first to say, um, I'm going to write or I'm going to do my art or I'm going to create in this time. That is kind of a bullshit story that a lot of creative women like to tell ourselves. We like to say, oh, I can't write my blogs until I feel the inspiration and I need to be completely free in order to feel the inspiration. If you are waiting for that, you are going to be waiting a long time because inspiration does not hit us. We generate inspiration and here's how you do that. So if there's a, t a thing that you want time to do to be creative, I want you to think about how you feel when you're doing that. I want you to think the thoughts that you think when you're doing that. And that's how you generate the momentum and the motivation to do it on a Friday afternoon when you've carved out the time. Now, nobody believes me at first, and I'm sure that you're rolling your eyes at me and going, okay, Jen, but I've trained so many women in this strategy that I know that it works. If you can just wrap yourself around the mindset of you want to be spontaneous, how is that working out for you right now? 
Are you able to be spontaneous? Are you able to get the shit done that you want to get done? Or are you bogged down by a list of things that you have to do and you never get to the thing you want to do? One of the ways around that is to put the thing you want to do on the calendar. It is a non-negotiable. And then you have to get that other shit done at other times. You just schedule it in. One of the thoughts that one of my private clients came up with was my schedule brings me great freedom. My, my schedule makes me awesome is actually what she came to. And it was very, very, very hard for her at first to buy into that. But she had to practice the thought because her current thought was, I don't have time. I'm never going to get this done. I never get to do anything for myself. And she was constantly behind the eight ball, never getting anything done. And she was not being productive, nor was she being creative. So Phyllis, I hope this helps you with your mindset shift. Try scheduling the thing that you really want to be doing for your creative self first and back everything else into that. And then schedule things that you don't want to do. Get them done. It's almost like when you were a kid and you had to come home and do your homework first so that you could then do the other thing that you wanted to do. That's how we have to do that for ourselves, but we have gotten out of practice with it. So I hope this helps. It's a mindset shift. Everything about time management is a mindset shift. Yes, we can use lists and we can use calendars and we can become more cognizant of our time. But the very first things that we need to start doing is noticing the bullshit stories we tell ourselves, which is I want to be more spontaneous. You can't be spontaneous if you don't plan. It's like you have to plan to have the space to allow yourself to be spontaneous. You start with little teeny tiny places and I would love to hear what you are struggling with everybody. If you are, if you, if there's something that you really need me to coach you through, put it in the comments and I will address it for sure. I hope this is helpful. Happy Monday night to you. And I will be here tomorrow uh, looking for your comments on the post for tomorrow. Bye everybody.